So another example here, we have an example that says find a unit vector in the same direction as a given vector v. So the given vector is the vector 2, negative 3, 1. So that's just some vector here in space. Let's say it's going off like this, the vector v. And it has some length. We don't know what it is at this point, but presumably it's not a length of 1. So what we can do is we can take that vector and we can divide it by its magnitude and that produces a unit vector in the direction of the original vector. Multiplying a vector by a positive constant like this, 1 over magnitude of v, does not change the direction, it only changes the length. So multiplying a vector by a non-zero constant only changes the length. It won't make it point in any direction except either directly ahead or if you multiply by a negative sign, then it points in exactly the opposite direction. So multiplying a vector, in this case by a non-negative constant, like uh, 1 over magnitude of v, will just change the length of v. And this specific constant, actually whenever we take the magnitude of this new vector, it'll turn out to have magnitude of 1. So first we need to find the magnitude of v. So magnitude of v is given by the square root of the components squared and then add it together. So we'll do 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 1 squared. And then we get the square root of 4 plus 9 plus 1, which is the square root of 14. So the square root of 14 is the magnitude of v. So we, we were right. The magnitude of v is not 1. The magnitude or the length of this vector right now is the square root of 14. So then our unit vector, u, will be 1 over four, square root of 14 times vector v. Well, to multiply a vector by a constant like this, I just multiply each component by 1 over square root of 14. So the answer is going to be 2 over square root of 14 i hat, so that's the x component, minus 3 over square root of 14 j hat, plus 1 over square root of 14 k hat. Now this vector is a vector that has unit magnitude, we can go ahead and check. We can say, okay, take this component squared plus this component squared plus this component squared, take the square root, we'll see that we do indeed get a unit vector in the direction of v.